Matt, it's the first time we've really had the chance to sit down with you after deadline day. We brought George in. How happy are you that he's now in the building? Yeah, no, really happy. Um, look, it was it was an extremely busy period the the last week of the transfer window. I'm sure it was the same at every club um, up and down the country. But what we've tried to do is is make sure that we get players in who complement the players that we've got, but also add in areas that we feel we need to. And there is no beating around the bush. We haven't scored enough goals this year for the chances that we've created. Therefore, we needed somebody else to add competition in that area of the pitch because it's imperative that when we're on top in games, we haven't scored enough. And, and therefore, we've, we've gone about um, trying to recruit the right person and the right player. And I feel we've done that. So we're extremely happy to have George here. What I like about George is that he's got a point to prove because his career probably hasn't gone the way we'd have wanted it to and he's not been playing at Barnsley and we've got an opportunity now for him to come here, work hard and see where that can take him but we understand that it's mutually beneficial in terms of any any loan player that we get obviously we want to try and help him develop and be successful but more importantly than that he has to come here and and add to what we've already got to the building uh, personality, character, very, very good. And I think he'll fit in with the group really well. He's got that pedigree as well, hasn't he? He has played, you know, at that higher level with Barnsley. He's certainly shown that he can score goals in, you know, divisions above us with, when he was with Berry as well. He's, and he's played in this division. Was that key to you bringing him in as well? There were, we spoke about lots of players and George was one that when you look at the experience that he has of the level and the understanding and the know-how, uh, I thought that at his age it was an opportunity that we couldn't turn down. So fortunately, um, Jamie worked tirelessly to manage to, to get us to a point to get the deal um, somewhere that we could do for both clubs to be happy and for the player. And, and then it's a case of, right, OK, now he's in the building, he needs to understand how we want to play. He needs to understand what his roles and responsibilities are, both on and off the ball. What George will give us is, with his, if you look at him on a football pitch, it replicates the type of person he is. He works extremely hard on a daily basis. And I'm excited for our fans to see him uh, represent their football club. But this competition now, it gives us an extra option up front. It gives us an opportunity maybe to to look at other other um, striking options. I think he can play across the front three positions. So, you know, it gives us good competition and it gives me a headache along with the coaches. But George has come here because he wants to score goals and be successful. Now, a player with that hunger and desire, he matches the rest of his group. And that's what I liked about him when I spoke to him, that he's, he's desperate to get his career going the way that he'd want to. And I think it shows you testament to, to the work that we've done here that he could have signed at four other clubs that he chose to come here. Now, he's not come here because he thinks I'm a nice guy. He's come here because I think that he sees and hopefully buys into to what we're trying to do at the football club. And in his programme notes, the chairman alluded to the fact that there have been some trialists here. Those free agents, you know, that are out there can still come in after the windows close. Is that something that you'd be looking to explore? It's something that we've been exploring already. So, you know, we've got a couple of guys in at the moment with us and look, it, it's tough for them because <laughs> they're almost having to prove themselves on a daily basis. It also, what it's done is it's, it's kept the group on their toes knowing that other players are still coming in and of course you know if the right person and I say that again the right person is available and he fits and he's the right player then obviously it's something that we'll, we'll try and look at. Um, last weekend picked up your first win their first win as a, a team you know going into this weekend's game now does that has that confidence boost been replicated in the changing room? I know it's a, a clearly confident group, but have you seen an even more of a boost in that changing room? I think, I think what it's done is it's hopefully helped to change their mindset a little bit that matches our mindset in terms of our thoughts on them. We think they're good players. Right? We think we're a, we're a decent team at the moment. We've got loads to improve on. But what they did on Saturday, the players, is they found a way to win the game. And said after the game, Tom, that I thought we weren't great on the ball in the second half. 
And what I mean by that is we weren't brave enough to receive under pressure, but that was normal. The game, uh, I didn't feel at any point we really looked vulnerable. I thought we defended very well. I'd have just liked to have seen us have a better use of the ball. But in every game, I'm much happier coming out saying that we can play better, but we've taken three points. But we will need to play better if we're going to get any any points at this weekend away at Bradford because they're a good team, very good team at this level. Got a manager who understands what it takes to get out of this league. Did it last season. Uh, they've got a huge back in behind them. It'd be a different test for our players <clears throat> on Saturday because there's going to be 15, 16,000 fans there. Uh, can we handle that pressure? Can we make decisions that are the right ones under pressure? And then it comes down to, we know we create chances, right? And then can we take the chances? If we can do that, we've got a good chance of, of you know, getting a positive result from the game. Oh!